Hi everybody, welcome back to my garden. I'm just going to check out, well actually show you the plants or some of the plants, some tropical plants that I've tucked away in my greenhouse just to keep them safe through the winter months while it's a bit frosty or you never know, might even have snow. Doubt it, doesn't seem to get snow much these days. Anyway, let's go inside and see what's going on. Well, there you go. Where shall we start? I know. We'll start here. Not exactly a tropical plant, but I do like these. This is geranium. Strangely enough, it's got a little a flower started to come there. Look, might be lucky. Up there, I've got a money tree or penny tree. Just a baby one. I've got a giant one indoors. Coming into flower as well. These, these have been outside um, and most people leave them out and then the frost gets them but I thought I'd bring these in uh, just to uh, keep them going if you like. Over here I've got some desert rose, highly toxic, very poisonous. Now to be honest I don't get on very well with these at all. They sort of die back and then they grow and they die back and they grow. I think it's just we've got the wrong climate here. There's a little baby agave there. There's my little pet worm. We call him Basil. Because he's in a pot of basil that's not doing very well at all. Anyway, there's a small aeonium. And there's a Echium pininana, just a baby one. There's another desert rose with the wrong label in it. We'll have to change that label, won't we? Another echium there, but something's had a little nibble on the leaf of that. There we have a ponytail palm. That's looking really, really healthy. It actually needs a lot more water than what you might think being a palm. Um, yeah, I like those. We've got a little uh, insect eating plant there. I've got a couple of those, they're not doing very well at all. And these are little cuttings of some succulents so I've taken. They seem to be doing alright. There we go, there's another cutting that I'm hoping might sprout. But it's not doing anything at the moment. Well, we'll leave it there, we'll give it a chance. There's another desert agave. Uh, that's one of my indoor plants so I put up here because it doesn't look so good. Anyway, let's move on down. Look, there's a bottle brush plant in flower and another desert agave. Some little cuttings there. Banana plant. Do you know, so many people call it a banana tree, but it's not a banana tree. It's a plant. Actually, if you want to get really botanical, it's a herb. Anyway, that's a baby. I brought it in. And here are my purple can of plants. Looking really good, they look great outside, but unfortunately we didn't get one flower this year. But then it's been quite a um, miserable year with clouds and that, so that's probably why not. It's a larger agave. There we've got some castor oil plants. Another agave. Quite a tall castor oil plant there. And we come along this shelf and we've got various plants really all just tucked in out of the way might have a few more that i've got to bring in this banana here if you check it out 
was frosted last year. You can see the old st uh, stem there that's rotted away, but it's sent up one, two, three, four, five little bananas, which I'm going to take off and put those on and come over this way. More bottle brush plants, more penny tree. more of this little palm which should be indoors really because it's quite a nice plant and over here I've got some peacock aloe plants which actually need splitting up and potting on that's it really better not look at those stinging nettles they love it in here I'll have to uh, sort those out anyway thank you very much for watching this latest video hope you've enjoyed it a lot of my plants actually go inside, indoors, into a conservatory. And I'll keep on growing what I can. So thanks, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, love you all, see you next time, and bye from me. And my garden, of course.